This is uh, the control box for the shape Oco 2. It's basically all put into the same uh, small cabinet that uh, fits a micro ATX card and then it's actually possible to get everything else in there too. You can see the e stuff on the top and then on the back I have added all the connectors for um, X, Y, Z limit switches and then this is the power for the uh, steppers and then on the other side you have um, this wire coming in and out basically that's just for the relay to the spindle and then the connectors from the uh, micro ATX card let's check it out inside so here we have it open you have the e-stop here power coming in going to the gerbil shield and then back of course and then you have a small uh, SSD disk here, only 30 gig, but it's enough to run all of it. You have the micro ATX board over here. And we have a relay for the spindle sitting here. Then if I take the hard disk out, oops, you can see that we have the gerbil shield here. And uh, I use one of the internal connectors to connect the USB. There's a um, USB on board over here, and I simply just took an old wire and basically connected it here so I could get it over to the USB board. So, all in all, this is very compact, uh, and uh, I guess next step will be to go out and connect it to the Shape Oco and see how it all works. So right before we go out and test the system out, I just want to show you this diagram. I have given uh, the different connections here. You can see the uh, motors on the gerbil sheet in the corner. This is a piece that I copied from the internet. Then you have the mini ATX card with the onboard USB connector. You, they typically come two connections on one connector. And how you connect that to the Arduino USB, you can see the different connections. So basically, you just take a wire, a USB wire, cut it, cut it, and mount a connector that will fit the onboard, and then you should have that connection in place. You can see the probe that is connected between A0 and ground, and you can see the relay connected to plus and ground and the output 12, and then you have the limit switches uh, connected in pairs of two, uh, two for X, two for Y, and normally only one for Z. And you have the uh, resistors, the pull-up resistors of 330 uh, ohm. And then finally you have the PSU going through the e-stop uh, connection to the uh, or shield. And then uh, remember to uh, connect the ground so you have the same ground. I have wired this so the uh, you Arduino get the fiber walls from the uh, computer and the USB port. So this is all you need to do. So now we have the machine connected to the uh, control box and Windows is running and the machine is ready. So first thing I will do is to uh, open a Gerbil controller. And we'll open the port. And unlock. We have all the parameters ready here. And then I think we'll basically do a homing. Dollar H. Okay, done. And then next thing will be to do uh, the probe, just testing the height on the aluminum plate. So first I will uh, get the um, 
bit closer to the uh, aluminum surface I have here the uh, command I will uh, need to get the bit closer than 15 millimeters so that will be the first thing we'll have to do so I will go and jog down the uh, bit here so we will jog closer to the surface we need to be within 15 millimeters so now it's pretty close, maybe 5 millimeters above, and then we will execute the probe command. Okay, so we have zero here. And in order to get the Z to zero, then we have to issue the G92 uh, command. And you can see what happens. I hit enter now. And we have all zero in the work position. So we are basically ready to go with any project you would like. Thank you.